preliminary trip. <laughs> to like show the waves and but it's so choppy I don't think I want it's like shaking around. It was pretty rough. Tenerife. Obviously it's like a fun little adventure because it's riding somewhere different and I've never, I've ridden in Tenerife but not where I'm actually going to be riding today but there is a, an ulterior motive for why I've come here and you're going to see that in a second because it's about two kilometres away from the ferry port. To be honest, I I'm gonna show you in a bit. It's a Fuji film. I'm, I'm normally using Sony. This is just GoPro, but um, for photos, oh, the stuff that I've seen for this Fuji camera is like beautiful. So I was like, they had one in, in. So they had one in Stark. They've not had them in Stark in well, basically around the world for about six months. It's like a massive back order. It's not even a new camera. And then I saw online that they had one in stock here. So I was like, oh, do I get the ferry over to get it? But obviously I bring in my bike and then I will go and ride my bike for a bit. So I'm going to have to carry it on my back. It's like, is that why? Like brand new camera on my back? But uh, it's not heavy. <gasps> the camera. Oh, I didn't even tell you. So basically everyone, that, the boat was so choppy that everyone got seasick. Not everyone, but I kept trying to fall asleep and being woken up to basically sounds of a lot of people throwing up. Um, it was a pretty rough boat ride and I just luckily just went to sleep and just didn't feel sick. So, yeah. And I asked, I was like, is it normal? So they're like, no, it's never normally like this. It's just really bad weather today. So my normal like love for ferries today was a little bit, the shine was taken off. But we'll see what it's like on the way back. But yeah, I got my camera. So this camera, sorry, this is, this is meant to be like a cycling channel, but I'm just gonna tell you because uh, it's interesting to me and I love it. So maybe, I actually think this camera is just gonna be more for like personal stuff. So like um, family things when I'm going out, like with friends, like just my personal memories for me rather than it being like a work thing, but it's just so beautiful. So it's a Fujifilm X100V. Let me know if you've used it. Let me know if you've got one because they, to be honest at the minute, they are like, a really really hyped up camera you cannot get them they're selling like crazy money um like even second hand so the fact that i've got a new one i'm like absolutely made up with it's taking me like an hour to ride 10k because it's all uphill i forgot how steep tenerife is and they've been all like i guess main steep roads and i was like oh do i just turn around and then now look what i've seen It's so green! And then look ahead in the mountains. That is where I'm going. Look at this street on the left, like, what is that? How steep? Oh my goodness. <laughs> you might get another little crying vid. Because I've just come to this lookout and I was like, oh, it'll be nice. It won't be. It's not really high up. You won't probably see like a lot, a lot. And look what you can see. It's tiny. I literally just got here. We're just like pointing on going, tiny, tiny. I don't know why that's made me feel all like teary. Oh, I love that mountain so much. I didn't have time to do it today. But look at that. <sighs> And this is what the actual rest of the climb looks like. It's so, so, so pretty. So I'm at 960 meters and it's called Pico de Inglis 
and oh look at these views i know every time i'm like look at the view look at the view but look at that and look at that road down there <gasps> and look at Tadey in the mud well in the clouds look at Tadey in the clouds do you want to look at the other side because that's equally as stunning I just love going somewhere new and this was just like do you know what I'll just pick a route and see what it's like and I just basically aim for greens of oh that's the sea down there that's where I've come from and this ride is not particularly long it's like I think it's 50k in about 12 1300 meters and then you come out of all those like forestry area and see this Look at all that. I do love some mountains. I've said it before, but I love the canaries. It's just, people are just so friendly. The weather's so good. The roads is gorgeous, the mountains are pretty. And they have Phantom Lemon! I love it! God, I wish it was that good at home. Just sat having a drink and a bird just pooped all over my leg. I was just sat looking around like, oh, this is just so nice. And then I had like this warm, oh, it makes me feel sick thinking about it. That's why I didn't film anything. I was like, get that crap off literal crap off and then i'm just heading back to the ferry do you know what i would say about that route is hang on which way am i going here i think left no right and then left oh yeah it's got to be um i would do it the other way around like the descent down the mountain down looked incredible and i kind of wish i'd gone up that way but i didn't know was i, I didn't know so if any of you are coming to the north of tenerife or getting the ferry over and want a short ride to do then recommend it it's only like 50k it was really nice oh and i never told you at the top of pico to inglis um i chatted to two girls who are well, two women cyclists who have basically bike packed uh most of the gran canaria and they were telling me all about the stories i was with them ages Oh, that was so nice. I, I love the idea of like bike back in all the canaries. Okay. There she is. Oh, little on the ferry. I really hope it's not as. Uh... <gasps> Look at that dog. Oh, you see. <laughs> What is that? It's like all over the place. Yeah, so I'm like, <laughs> safety first again. Oh, what is that? Adventure done almost. Yeah, yeah. I've got to get the bus back yet. Yeah, 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 okay. Apparently, you can put your bikes on the buses here. So, let's see how that goes. I'm back in Grand Canaria and look at the view. Oh, how lovely is the colour of that water. So this is uh, Catalina. You have a Spanish coming on my little Spanish accent. Um, honestly, just come out and visit Tenerife or Grand Canaria or any of the Canaries because it's just so, so good for a ride and I've really, really enjoyed it. And obviously I've got my, my new camera. Uh, and just a little adventure for the day and I want to add on something as well to this because I was thinking about this as well today that when I was younger uh, I as in like a kid like I was not adventurous at all even when I started riding I would always kind of want to ride with other people because I was like I'm scared of getting lost um, or if I have a mechanical or something like that and I think that's why now I love doing like my little solo adventures like that because I feel like it's just given me a lot more like independence and a lot more confidence so I would say to any of you who are wanting to do stuff or waiting for other people to do it with them just go and do it on your own because you just figure it out and 
as much as I love, I think it's like 50-50, I love riding with groups, I love being, riding with other people, doing fun things when I adventure with other people, but equally, if I'm really honest, I love having my little solo days out. I just, I just like it. I just like it a lot and yeah. Got any questions as always, leave them in the comments. And oh, the ferry, um, if you wanna do it, I think it was 90 euro return um, with a bike. So come and do it, it's really, really fun to be able to go over there and experience a different part of the island and I'm all up for just riding new places that I've not ridden just so do you know what it is I just love not even like necessarily the actual like route or distance or anything like that I like it sounds weird but like I love having a feeling of what somewhere is like and I feel like you can own like or you get a more bigger sense of that when you're on a bike because you just cover more distance you just get like compared to being in a car like bless you um you just a hundred percent like get more like feeling of what a place is like by being on a bike and you chat to more people and oh, i just love it just love 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 it so yeah come to the canaries um i don't have many days left so maybe this is the last video that you'll see I don't know maybe i'll do another one if another one pops up then then i've made another one <laughs> all right i want to stop there Try and, try and go and get my bus. I'll let you know if I can get the bike on the bus. That would be amazing if I can. And I will see you next video. I guess we'll see it so we get the other end. Bike made it, bye! Whoop whoop!